So you're ready to invest in your first aerial hoop, but don't know what size aerial hoop you need. This video will take you through the steps for finding the perfect fit for you. But before we get started, make sure you smash that follow button for all your aerial needs. Hi, I'm Michelle, an aerialist and an avid hooper. And I know the pains of trying to find an aerial hoop that's right for you. When I first started my aerial journey, I struggled to find information to accurately assess what aerial hoop was right for me. I'm here to guide you through the simple steps for finding your perfect hoop. Whether you're choosing a single point, a double point, or a tabless hoop, the general rule is to measure your torso length, not by height. This will allow you to sit comfortably in your lira with enough clearance. Begin by sitting straight on a chair and measure the distance from the seat to the top of your head. Then add 10 centimeters, rounding up to the nearest hoop size interval as needed. This number is your optimal aerial hoop size. This number will be the inner diameter of your hoop. It's possible you will be rounding up or down to the nearest hoop measurement. If in doubt, I suggest going for a slightly smaller hoop. This ensures things like knee hangs and shoulder stands are easily maneuverable without significant drops into the hoop. At 5'5 and having a long torso, my hoop is personally 35 inches. You will also be selecting a grip size for your hoop thickness. If you are used to practicing on a dance pole or other bar gymnastics equipment, um, if you have larger hands, you may have a preference for a wider grip. The 25 millimeter is the industry standard and the 34 millimeter is a little thicker. Personally, I like the thicker one. Below in the description, you will find the links to the aerial hoop and gear that I personally use. I hope this video helps you as you get started on your aerial journey. Be sure to drop a comment below if you have any questions and what you'd like to learn next. Good luck!